Henry Bolingbroke was born on April 3, 1367, in Lincolnshire, England. He was the eldest son of John of Gaunt and Blanche of Lancaster. His father was a powerful nobleman who served as Regent of England during the minority of King Richard II. Henry's mother, Blanche of Lancaster, was the daughter of Henry of Grossmont, Duke of Lancaster, and therefore Henry was a member of the House of Lancaster. Through his mother's family, Henry had a strong claim to the English throne. In 1399, Henry deposed his cousin Richard II and became King Henry IV. Richard II was widely unpopular, and Henry was able to gain support from the nobility and common people alike. Richard II was imprisoned and later died, aged 33, probably of starvation in captivity. During his reign, Henry faced several rebellions, including the Percy Rebellion of 1403 and the Welsh Rebellion of 1400. The Percy Rebellion, led by Henry Percy, also known as Hotspur, was a challenge to Henry's authority and his claim to the throne. The Welsh Rebellion was led by Owain Glyndwr, who sought to restore Welsh independence. Henry married Mary de Bouin in 1381. Mary was the daughter of the Earl of Hereford and the granddaughter of Edward III. They had six children, including the future King Henry V. After Mary's death in 1394, Henry married Joanna of Navarre in 1403, who was the widow of the Duke of Brittany. However, their marriage was not a happy one, and Joan was accused of witchcraft and imprisoned for several years. Henry was plagued by ill health throughout his life, suffering from a variety of ailments including leprosy, epilepsy, and gout. Henry was a devout Christian and made several pilgrimages to holy sites throughout his life. He was against the Lollard movement, which sought to reform the Catholic Church in England, and had Lollards burned at the stake. The Lollards believed in the importance of individual interpretation of the Bible and rejected many of the practices and beliefs of the Church. In 1400, Henry was the target of a failed assassination attempt known as the Epiphany Rising. The plot was led by Richard Scrope, Archbishop of York, and Thomas Mowbray, Earl of Norfolk. The plot was discovered and the conspirators were executed. In 1406, English pirates captured the future James I of Scotland, aged just 11 off the coast of Flamborough Head, Henry imprisoned him for the rest of his reign. He also established the office of Lord Chief Justice of England. This position was responsible for overseeing the administration of justice in England and was an important step in the development of the English legal system. Henry believed in the importance of maintaining law and order, and he appointed capable judges to serve in this role. Henry died on March 20, 1413, at the age of 45. The later years of his reign were blighted by ill health and a disfiguring skin disease, which was possibly leprosy. He was succeeded by his son Henry V. Henry IV's reign had been marked by political turmoil, but he had managed to bring stability to the kingdom. Henry IV is buried in Canterbury Cathedral. His tomb is one of the most elaborate and ornate in the cathedral, and it is a popular tourist attraction. Henry IV was also involved in foreign policy. He sought to strengthen England's position in Europe and to maintain good relations with neighboring countries. He supported the Holy Roman Empire against the Ottoman Empire and formed alliances with France and Scotland. He also played a role in the Hundred Years' War, a series of conflicts between England and France that lasted from 1337 to 1453. Henry faced several challenges during his reign, including rebellion, political instability, and financial difficulties. He was forced to impose new taxes and to borrow heavily to finance his wars and maintain the government. Henry's reign also saw the emergence of a strong parliament. The House of Commons grew in power and influence, and Henry was forced to work with parliament to pass legislation and raise funds for the government. This laid the foundation for the development of representative government in England. Overall, Henry IV's reign was a time of significant change and turmoil in England. He faced numerous challenges but managed to maintain stability and establish a strong foundation for the English monarchy. His legacy is still felt today in the English legal system, the development of Parliament, and the fact that Henry was the first English-speaking king since the Norman Conquest.